and see if we can figure out some sort of motive in this, but we don't have that right now. And police identifying a teenage gunman after eight people were killed at an Indianapolis FedEx facility Thursday night. What we're learning about the gunman's past. Protesters in Grand Rapids calling for police reform after a Minneapolis man was shot and killed during a traffic stop last weekend. What they have to say. And enjoy the pleasant weather this weekend because winter is going to be making an unwanted return next week. Coming up when temperatures will struggle to even hit 40 and when some snow could fall. It's a scary, scary story. It's, it's more than most people go through in a lifetime. She's fought to survive and says there's no way she could have without the help of others. Why she hopes her story will encourage others to give. From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 Morning News at 8 starts right now. All right, thank you so much for joining us here at Fox 17 Morning News on this Saturday morning. My name is Savannah Fish. We are moving right along here. This show has sped on by. We're now in the 8 o'clock hour, and meteorologist Erica Striva joins me live in the Weather Center this morning. Can you agree? This morning has just flown by. It's, it's the coffee. It's the energy <laughs> that we've got going here for the first few hours. And, well, we do have one more hour of the show. It's going to be a very bright and sunny, not only for this hour, but for the rest of the morning and the rest of our Saturday and Sunday. Don't have a whole lot happening on satellite and radar right now. That's just how we like it. Temperatures are in now in the middle 30s for the majority of West Michigan. Some spots are trending into the upper 30s right now with the help of that sunshine over the last hour, warming things up just by a few degrees. But that will be the trend that we keep going for the rest of today. High temperatures along the lakeshore are going to be in the lower 50s then middle to upper 50s as you move inland under partly cloudy skies while those clouds aren't around right now they will continue to develop throughout the rest of today enough pop-up cumulus away from lake michigan could spark off an isolated sprinkle or a light shower best chance of that would be along and east of us 131 but it's mainly going to be out to our east towards lansing flint and detroit that they see the better chance of that overall so most of us are going to stay dry but a five percent uh, five to 10% chance is out there for those of us away from Lake Michigan today. So don't be surprised if you get under one of those sprinkles that starts to block out the sunshine a little bit, but all in all, a really nice day to start off the weekend. Even better weather on Sunday and Monday, which we'll discuss before we dive back into some winter type weather into the middle of next week. All that and more is coming up in the full West Michigan forecast. But for right now, here's Rob with a look at your traffic. Good morning. Fox 17 traffic, a busy weekend for road crews, especially those assigned to the big projects. We have one big project that has to be accomplished in one night. Tonight, I-94 is going to have three bridges demolished in a single 12-hour period as part of the construction zone that will connect 31 to 94 and also uh, replace a lot of bridges. There's interchange projects, all kinds of things happening here. So uh, the three bridges will be are at uh, the I-94 business. Well, we've got some pretty nice mid-April weather here the next three days. It will be breezier on Monday, but this entire weekend is going to be featuring some sunshine both days. It will be a chillier start to the day again on Sunday morning with some frost if you have started to plant things outside. It is Earth Day next week, so if you started planting, which probably would have recommended against that because we all know what happens uh, with Mother Nature in April and May, we are going to get a colder stretch of weather into the middle of next week, which will put some of those plants at risk uh, to maybe even succumb to some of those colder temperatures, unfortunately. But at least during the day, the next three days, things are going to be just fine. All right. Now, you mentioned Earth Day, so that's coming up, like you said, this coming week, and that's all part of Anchor Chat. So uh, for Anchor Chat, which we'll talk about tomorrow, we want to know what is your favorite outdoor activity in light of Earth Day. I mean, how are you going to help the planet? What do you like to do outside? We were talking a little bit earlier about Just this. enjoy what Mother Nature has to offer yeah. here this weekend. Uh, I don't know when specifically Earth Day is next week. I believe it's Wednesday or Thursday. Okay. I will have a for sure answer tomorrow morning. So but it's not going to be, it's not going to be the Just do outside. good things for the Earth all yeah. week. Yeah. yeah. Recycle, you know, bike to work or, a, I mean, just enjoy uh, the nicer weather that we have yeah. outside. This it's going to be beautiful. So make sure you join us back here tomorrow morning. Have a great day.